Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Breaking Bad Goddess. My name is Martha Langford and I just wanted to get on real quick to really highlight some great things that have happened. Um, first of all, I just want to thank everyone for subscribing. I finally hit the barrier of a thousand subscribers. I'm very thrilled. Um, just another landmark uh, checkpoint for this year. I also wanted to um, celebrate the fact that I made oh what seven months into my lock journey um and i'm just like thrilled that already more than half a year has gone by since i started my second set of locks so yeah that's pretty encouraging and i'm just happy with how my hair is looking the growth since i first got my um second set of locks and it's just really a, a good feeling that you know i'm on my way and as fast as time has gone i'll i'll be celebrating a year in no time and the third thing i wanted to talk about aside from hitting a thousand subscribers seven months locked um is I had a little brain fog my lock count i finally uh, decided to count my locks and get a definitive lock count because I've had several different uh, numbers and I finally uh, just nailed it down and did it over and over again until I consistently got the number the, of locks. And I am at, I'm, I, I will spare you counting in front of you. I hate, I hate videos where I have to sit there and watch people count. I will spare you that and just tell you, I have 112 locks. I put my locks in groups of 20 and counted it from there. I'll show a little <clears throat> video of that. Uh, and yeah, so it's 112. So that's great. That's actually double the amount I had in my first set of locks. When I was, by the time I combined everything in my first set of locks, I had like 56, something like that locks 57 maybe so now i have 112 so and that's plenty plenty that i can deal with so yeah so there's a lot of great things um happening i'll do a a length for a lock 360 you can see right here how it's looking the one thing i do notice about my locks at this stage is that they do look fuller um, and that would make sense and that's one of the reasons why I started my lock journey over again I didn't feel like I had the fullness um, even though my locks were pretty thick it was less of them and so this time I went smaller so I can have more locks which would give me the fullness and the volume that I was really wanting in that first set of locks so yeah, so I'm already noticing that that difference that it, they, it just looks much fuller. Um, but we'll sh we should see how it's gonna look, you know, a few months as it gets length, and you know, I, I should really notice the fullness as it grows out, and I'll at least have photos from my last lock journey that will give me a good comparison. But yeah, and um, what I'm doing is what I've always been doing, just moisturizing with um the lock uh, uh uh twist twisting gel that i got from from the um, nap star which is where i got my set of locks when i went down to manhattan and got them done i've been just using this gel and i've been sticking with if i could find my water i have a lock is it here i changed up my well, rose water. I got this on Amazon. It's the Rose Hydrosol um, Rose Water. And the reason why I switched up is I was watching Keisha Charmaine's video. And um, she's great. She's She's got locks all the way down to her back. Probably grazing her butt. And she's been in the game for years. At least 10 plus years. Maybe more than that. So um, she was explaining on one of her more recent videos about uh, the different types of rose water and that if you want 
um, a rose water that will give you the moisture that you need. It needs to be hydrosol or distilled water. And the Heritage um, rose water I was using really wasn't, um, well, it, it wasn't distilled and, and it wasn't hydrosol, at least that's, it, it wasn't written in the back. So I switched it up and I do notice that my hair is much softer with the hydrosol rose water that I just showed you. So I'm, you know, I'm just rocking with that. You know, right now where I live in upstate New York, it is getting cold. We, there's a few days sprinkled here and there where we get really nice weather and then it'll, we'll have a cold snap. Like right, right when I woke up this morning, it was like 38 degrees. So we are definitely in the transition into winter. Winter is coming y'all. <laughs> and it's, I'm feeling it that even at nighttime and now that the, the clocks have turned ahead or back, I should say, um, it's like dark, like I would say close to 435. So yeah, it just, it, it kind of messes up your whole rhythm of, of everything. But I don't even know how I got on this topic about daylight savings. Oh, the weather and how cold it is. And so my you know the locks can be a little dry during this time of year because the war the weather is so cold the wind so i tend to keep my hair covered a lot i'll put on one of my um satin scarves and i'll put a hat on top of it um i just ordered a hat with this with the satin lining um inside which just works better for me because if i wear uh just like any cotton hat or knit hat you gotta worry about it uh like your hair is like velcro and <clears throat> it'll pick up a lot of the material from your clothes your hats your scarves so you got to be really careful that's, that's the downside of having locks your hair will pick up all kinds of stuff it's just everything is attracted to it so to minimize that especially heading into the winter months I have to make sure that I keep my head covered it also keeps um it does help maintain moisture in your hair as well so that's what i've been doing so yeah that's where i'm at right now um just uh seven months locked um feeling really great about that and gee it's before no time I'll, I'll be hitting 9 10 11 12 12 months one year in and yeah quite quite the this is why i i decided to do my locks right from the beginning I love the idea of the um, lock extensions. I think for people who don't want to suffer through that beginning stage, I mean, that's a great option. And I'm glad that option's there for a lot of people who don't want to go through the whole process. I like the whole process because I like every stage. It may be because I've already did it before. And I remember looking back at pictures during my first set of locks. I wished I appreciated the different stages more because there was really beauty in each stage of my lock journey i love this this stage where it's short it's it's quick and easy and it's it can be very chic if you know how to um style it i mean there's not a lot of styles but to change the parting whether i put it on this side or put it in the middle or whatever but it's still you know it still is a, a cute look and you can really dress it up with earrings and all that um and so i didn't want to skip any of those stages because i've learned to just be patient with my hair and and how it grows and also appreciate uh the different stages and i'm really looking forward to the chin length stage and then the shoulder and then you know once it gets long um, as much as we, you know, want the long hair, and I'm, I'm no different, I wanted the long hair too, you'll realize that you'll start missing the shorter styles that you can do. It, it, it just The shorter styles can be a little bit more chic. And don't get me wrong, I love the long because, you know, you can put it up in ponytails and big buns and side ponies and all that. That, that That's fun, and that's what we, we're here for, you know? But... Don't underestimate those shorter styles with locks. Locks, I, to me, I, I went back to locks after being um, 
a loose natural for that brief moment between the time I cut my, my, my first set of locks off to when I got my second set, that six month period was a reminder to me that I really like the locks, the locks a lot better. Uh, don't get me wrong, the Inner Loose Natural was fun, but it's a little bit more work. And, you know, I just, I, I, I think locks are just so much more easier and free. I felt freer. I didn't feel beholden to my hair. I didn't feel like I was a prisoner of my own hair. I can go out, didn't have to worry about rain, didn't have to worry about sweating out my, my style in the gym. I didn't you know, hesitate to go into the ocean and or the pool or the steam room and worry about sweating out my, my hair or my, you know, whatever. The things you don't have to think about when you have locks. And as long as you keep it moisturized and stay on top of it, because it's not a no maintenance style, but it is lower maintenance than having loose natural. And I'm just grateful for that realization and being able to appreciate all the stages of my lock journey. And yeah, so that's my video for this week. Uh, thank you everyone for subscribing, sharing, liking my videos, and just keep, I'll just keep churning in these um, videos. I enjoy it and I'm hoping that I bring some value to the YouTube universe and please share my, my content so I can get even more subscribers. But anyways, thank you so much and I will see you next week in my next video. Take care.